hey guys welcome back to the channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to create a perfect efi for your hackintosh this guide will be for intel processors to create this efi you don't need to be an expert just follow this video so without getting much more delayed let's get started so first of all you'll have to go to the site the site link will be given in the description and from this page you'll have to click on code click on download zip the download is completed now click on open file minimize the browser now just select the folder and drag and tap to the desktop now it's done close it now open the folder here you will find op core simplify batch file double tap on it now you'll have to click on the arrow key now here you will have to type one and hit on the arrow key to explore the hardware details now you'll have to type e e is to export hardware reports that's recommended click on the enter key now you can see everything is loaded here here my cpu is intel i3 a generation processor and graphics is intel usd graphics 630 and this graphics can support up to micro sequoia 15 and you can see the audio driver is unsupported but the realtek audio driver is supported if you find your cpu and graphics is unsupported then it indicates that you can't really install macOS to a pc now you can see my wireless usb dongle is detected ethernet connection is detected everything is detected correctly now we'll have to click on the arrow key now you'll have to type tu to select the macOS version click on the arrow key now for example if you want to install macOS, Mixer, Monterey, Ventura, Sonoma or Sequoia whichever you want to install you'll have to type here the number in my case I want to install macOS Sequoia that is 24 I'll have to type 24 and hit on the arrow key macOS Sequoia is selected you can see here now you'll have to customize your SCPI type 3 and hit on the enter key now you can see everything is listed here which one is selected will be shown as green you can see here here don't do anything just type B and hit on the enter key now you can customize your case type 4 and hit on the enter key now here which option is gray it is not supported to a PC this option is not supported for my PC and whichever is selected it will show as green you can see restrict events are selected and it's a green so let's check everything you can see the text Lilio virtual SMC SMC processor SMC super IO whatever green Apple ALC for audio here is the case to name and here is the reason for why the text is used for now here if you want to fix Bluetooth here the number is 18 now here you'll have to type 18 and hit on the arrow key now you can see 18 Bluetooth pixel is selected. Now if you want to do extra or add extra thing, you can select. You can only select those white highlighted, but you can't select this gray color option because this gray color option is not for a PC. It will not support a PC. So everything is here. Now type B for back. You don't any key. Now we are back. Now we'll have to choose an SM BIOS. Type 5 and hit on the enter key. Now here you can see in my case iMac 19,1 is selected. That is recommended for my PC. But you can select iMac 19.2, 20.1, 20.2, whichever is shown as white, you can select. But whichever is shown as gray, it's not supported for your PC. I can also use macbook air 8 comma 1 but always recommended to go with the recommended version in my case it's recommended imac 19 comma 1 i will do nothing and type b hit on enter key now select it now now we have selected hardware default macOS version check to the scpi customize the text selected sm bios now the final option is 6 that is build open core efi Type 6, hit on any key. Now you can see it's done and the EFA folder is created. Now, if I open the EFA folder, here you can see it's a perfect EFI. Got the OZ and text. Here is the text. Everything is automatically downloaded. Now you can install macOS to a PC without any problem. Thanks for watching.